cleans up his little mess. Let me tell you about next week's show. My little mess? <laughs> I think we both learned an important lesson today. Never slam the case of window shut until your co-worker's completely removed his head. <laughs> anyway, when you work like a man, it's also important to learn to play like a man. Because after all, all work and no play makes you just like Al. <laughs> well, this weekend there'll be plenty of men playing at the Detroit area Scottish Highland Games. And we've invited a gentleman down here at Tool Time to tell us all about it. Please welcome Mr. Agnes McLeod. Welcome to the show, Agnes. That's Angus, not Agnes. Uh, the, the skirt threw me off a little bit. Actually, Tim, lots of very masculine men wear skirts. I bet they all find you very attractive, Al. <laughs> I should point out, Timmy, it, it's not a skirt, it's a Scottish kilt. See there, it's a kilt, not a skirt. And this weekend, Tim and I will be participating in the Highland Games to promote project literacy. And what a time we'll have. They'll be jumping, drumming, sheepdog demonstrations on the cable toss. The cable toss? Aye. It's part of the Scottish track and field. You grab a big log, you hold it like this, you get a running start, and throw it end of it, end, so it lands in a straight line. Another fine sport from the people that brought you golf. It takes a lot of skill and strength to toss a cable. All right, Agnes, I'm sure it does. You just take a stick and toss it. I it's bet our viewers would love to see you toss one. Alice, not your favorite. Come on, love here. Yeah! Okay, 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 okay. Accept the challenge. Why not? Working with Al, I feel like I've been carrying dead wood for years. <laughs> see you next time on Tool Time, laddies. It's all tweaked out. It's in perfect shape. Well, I, I put a lot of work into her, Tim. You know, I chrome-plated the valve covers. You did? And plasma-coated the block and intake manifold. I didn't know you were that interested in cars. Well, Tim, you never asked. I'm impressed. Not a lot of guys would take the time and the money to tweak out an 84 Mercury Marquis wagon. My well, mother thought it was a nice, safe car. And roomy. It'll come in handy if you ever get married or get a date. Well, they should wear underwear with these things. You're supposed to, Tim. Now, well, that would explain the itching then, wouldn't it? <laughs> Morning, fellas. Welcome, laddies. Hey, bud. I see you got here early. Yep. Nothing like getting up the crack of dawn, smell a wet sheep, and rocking out to that music. Out. We got here so Tim could practice and not embarrass himself. Now you worry too much. What could possibly... Ooh, whoa. That's a caber? Aye. Uh, 18 foot long. Samusar is taking a practice toss. Why don't you take one yourself, Timmy? Great. I uh, can't wait. Maybe you should start with a smaller caber. I? We've got the shorter ones the ladies use. I think I can handle a full-size one. All right. All right. Oh. You got it? Oi, 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 oi. All right, there it now. Pretty good, too. You uh... <laughs> I think I got it. Oh, God. 